We are excited to host our Ready Breakfast uh, today. And before we actually get started, um, I know I introduced myself, I'm Kristen Abudaker, the director of the campus here. There's a few other people here that I wanna make sure that I introduce. Um, first here to my left is Miss Amy Claywell. She is one of our principals here. Uh, in the back is uh, Steve Jackson, one of our other principals as well. Uh, I want to give some appreciation for our counseling department so uh, because they really help organize this entire uh, breakfast. So if we can give a round of applause to our counseling department. We have uh, Miss Tracy Donovan there. Uh, Miss Rachel Conley, uh, Miss Emily Likens, and uh, who was our counseling secretary and um, did, did a lot of the uh, decorations in here, and uh, Miss Penny Osborne. Okay. And uh, finally, there in the back is our school resource officer, uh, Officer Jeff McDaniel. So um, again, uh, our Ready Breakfast is very special to us because um, we do, we try to recognize all of our students, um, both for their academic uh, performance, um, but also um, our Ready Breakfast is really about recognizing them for some things outside of that as well. So um, if, you're, if you're unaware, I'm just gonna go over um, the uh, components of our Ready Breakfast, or our, our Ready uh, award and that is um, respectful okay so as far as when our teachers go to nominate this one student they're able to choose um, they're looking for a student who demonstrates either one of these qualities or multiple um, of the qualities so um, respectful excellence accountable uh, dedicated and being true to yourself okay so um, those are huge um, characteristics uh, that we value here at Butler Tech. Um, wanting to have students when they graduate from us not only achieve excellence academically, um, but to be good people. Uh, so we're gonna, how it works is we're gonna read the nominations uh, that allowed that the teachers wrote about uh, your student. Uh, so you have an opportunity to hear uh, and celebrate together the great things um, that they said. So uh, with that, I think that's, that's it. Um, the only other thing as far as a little bit of logistical, when, um, when I read the name, I'm gonna ask the student to come on up. I'm gonna provide both a copy of their, um, what their nomination says and the ready certificate. Uh, we have two students, we have like a, a little micro city here at Butler Tech. So we have two students from our digital media program that are uh, both filming and taking uh, photos today. Um, so when you come up, students, uh, if you wanna just stand right here to my left, or Ms. Claywell or Mr. Jackson's gonna read some nominations as well, um, we'll give you your certificate, and then we just wanna get a, a photo of you as well that we can share with your parents. So, all right. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the first student, if I could have come up, is Alexis Fleming. Alexis was nominated by Mr. Dietz, her social studies teacher, and uh, he nominated her for all of the ready characteristics. Uh, Mr. Dietz said, Alexis has had a great start to the school year. She embodies all the characteristics of the ready award. I could cite multiple examples of her interactions, not only with students, but with staff. The one that sticks out in my memory is her kindness when interacting with her peers. I am always impressed by her attitude and willingness to help. Kudos to you, Alexis. Congratulations. Yep. Right this way. All right. Next up, we have Ant Antoine Ch Chisley. Is that how you pronounce it, Antoine? Yes. Okay. Uh, Antoine has been nominated by Mr. Strait, his math teacher and again for all the characteristics of Ready. Mr. Strait says this, I love coming to school each morning knowing that Antoine will be in my first bell. Wow. We have great conversations about school, academics, sports, music, everything. He is focused on producing great work, understanding the content, 
and being a great, mo uh, great model for other students as to what we are trying to do and learn in class. Even with a small class, he helps us make, he helps make us feel like a community or family and is there to support one another and getting work done and emotionally with the stresses of life. So congratulations, Antoine. Yeah. All right, next up I have Isla Spett. I pronounce that right too? Ayla. I'm going to just apologize in advance. And I think Mr. Jackson, he said he was going to come up and take all the easy names out and leave me the difficult ones. So thanks, Mr. Jackson. Uh, so Ayla uh, was nominated by her lab teacher, uh, Commander Fitzgerald, uh, for respect, accountable, and yourself. Ayla shows the ready characteristics in many ways. She is respectful to everyone when she, who she comes in contact with. She is accountable by always meeting deadlines and completing her work in a timely manner. Ayla has always shown to be true to herself just by being herself. Ayla is an excellent addition to the Butler Tech family. Congratulations. Okay, next up I have uh, Bentley Molnar. Bentley was nominated by Mr. Powers for respect, excellence, accountable, dedicated, and yourself. So Bentley is the very definition of ready. He shows up early each day, willing to, oops, willing to be ready to work. His positive can-do attitude makes it easy for him to become a leader in the classroom. Others are able to, able to lean on him for guidance and support while he is still able to focus on his pursuit of excellence. The care and consideration that Bentley takes to ensure accuracy and growth are evident for, evident for all classmates to see. I truly look forward to the great things Bentley has ahead of him. Great job, Bentley. Next up, I have Billy Campbell. Is Billy here? No. Okay. Uh, next is Brandon Dowers. Brandon has been nominated by Mr. Hall, his IT instructor, for all the characteristics of Ready. Mr. Hall says that Brandon is an IT senior that exemplifies the E in excellence in the classroom. Each day Brandon comes prepared for class and is ready to go. He represents a D as he is dedicated to our IT program and eager to volunteer to help his classmates. Brandon exemplifies that R and A in Ready, and he is both respectful of his peers and teacher and accountable in the classroom. Finally, Brandon is true to himself as he was even elected by his peers during senior year to manage the classroom. Congratulations. Next, if Brian Short can come on up. Brian has been nominated by Mr. Yerrigan for all the characteristics of Ready. Brian has shown tremendous excellence as our BT news editor and technical director for the School of the Arts performances. His resilience shined when we were troubleshooting on how to produce the BT news this year when our recording system stopped working. Brian is always putting, his, putting forth his best effort as an integral part of the digital media program. His dedication and creativity are also evident in the product, sorry, the projects he has produced in our class. Keep up the amazing work, Brian. Next, if I can have Caleb Berg come up. Caleb was nominated by Mr. Dooley for all the characteristics as well. Caleb is as ready as anyone has ever been. Caleb is respectful of the class, the school, his classmates, his teachers, his assignments, you name it. Caleb is, is all about the excellence. Caleb earned the single highest score in government class for the first quarter. Caleb always holds himself accountable. He finishes assignments at home, he checks in, he asks questions. He holds himself to a very high standard in class. I would say that makes him dedicated. Caleb is one of the more mature juniors we have in the building this fall. Even when others are acting, how we say this with less maturity. Caleb stays true to Caleb. He is definitely comfortable as himself. 
Caleb is a genuine pleasure to have in class, and I am looking forward to working with him in second quarter. Congratulations, Caleb. Cameron Luby. Cameron, come on up. Nominated by Mr. Chambers. Cameron nails it with all five characteristics of ready. Cameron successfully pa passed the first half of the CompTIA A plus certification. This is a great accomplishment. He is almost prepared for the workforce in IT and this is only his junior year. I look forward to the many successes Cameron will continue to have here at Butler Tech in IT. Congratulations, Cameron. Cristavo, was I close? Okay. Uh, Cristavo has been nominated by Mr. Peisel for all the characteristics of Ready as well. Cristavo is a dedicated student and produces excellent work, but mostly I appreciate his attitude. He is friendly, respectful, willing to ask questions, and confident enough to help others. He ticks every mark on the ready list, and I would like to thank him for being a positive part of my classroom. Congratulations, Christopher. <laughs> Dakota Meyer. Dakota was nominated by Mr. Lanowich, his social studies teacher. Dakota is always respectful of his peers and myself. I have enjoyed having Dakota as a student and being able to engage Dakota in meaningful conversations around school and non-school related topics. Congratulations, Dakota. <laughs> Eli Van Houten. Eli is one of those students, Eli was nominated by Mrs. Hunter, his math teacher. Eli is one of those students who displays all the characteristics we look for in Ready. He is kind and respectful to everyone. He strives for excellence in pre-calculus. He holds himself accountable. He shows his dedication by emailing <coughs> questions about math, math problems whenever he needs help, even during the evenings and weekends. That's pretty awesome. He takes his time on assignments and gives his best effort every day, consistently every day. Congratulations, Eli. Emily Anspach. Emily has been nominated by Ms. Bird, her math teacher as well. Emily has been a strong student since day one. She's very polite and attentive in class. Emily will rework problems, ask for help, and get, give extra time, ask for help and give extra time to make up her work to make sure it's top quality. Our sophomore team is lucky to have a confident, hardworking young lady like Emily. Ethan Floor. Is Ethan here? No? Okay. Next, I have Evan Smith. Evan has been nominated for by Mr. Hall. Evan actually represents every part of the Ready Award, but if I had to pick one, it would be dedication. Evan has great passion for the fire service and is doing a great job with the program. Evan also helps others with the curriculum and skills objectives. I look forward to seeing Evan reach his goals and go into the fire service. Congratulations. I want to say congratulations to all the students and the parents you should know that we have a thousand students in this building and your students are here today so congratulations to you as well Gavin Lewis Gavin Gavin he was nominated by mr. hurt his lab teacher Gavin is very respectful young man Gavin is one of my student ambassadors he is also engaged in the lab as well as in the classroom he is also a problem solver Give him a task and some basic in instructions and he will work until the task is complete. Congratulations. Gracie Clark. She was nominated 
by Ms. Hubbard, her lab teacher. I am so happy to have Gracie as a junior in the cosmetology program. She is dedicated to excellence in the classroom and in the salon. She shows perseverance to master each new skill and is always willing to share her knowledge and skills with her peers. She is emerging as a leader in the program. I appreciate the respect that she demonstrates towards teachers and her classmates. Congratulations. <laughs> Isabella Moyer. Jack Dalman. Dalman. Did I say your last name right? Okay. <laughs> he was nominated by Mr. Miser, his science teacher. Jack demonstrates all the characteristics of Reddy. When he isn't doing one-handed push-ups, can you demonstrate that? No, no, okay. <laughs> He's doing great in class. He's dedicated and committed to performing at his best. He's always respectful to his teachers and his classmates. He has a positive attitude and is a leader by example in the classroom. Congratulations. Jackson, Jackson Shadowins, Shadowins. He was nominated by Mr. Campbell, that's his lab teacher. Jackson strives for excellence with every effort in class. His work is often my example for the rest of the class to strive to match. His classmates look to him for assistance and guidance on completing their work, seeking a similar level of accomplishment. His accomplishments are always topped by his caring and thoughtful personality. He consistently remains true to his self. <laughs> Jacob Adams. He was nominated by Ms. Wisman, his academic teacher. Jacob has stepped it up this year. Although he really didn't want to take his geometry class online, he has demonstrated that the ready characteristics of being dedicated and accountable. Jacob has completed geometry online and should be finished within the next, he's completed A, he'll be finished with B in the next couple of weeks. He has committed himself to finishing this quickly by staying focused and on task. Jacob has worked very hard to complete this so that he can focus next semester on his Fire 2 and EMT. Keep up the great work, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob Coffey. Annie Truett. She was nominated by Mr. Geyser, her lab teacher. There is never a day that Annie doesn't live up to any and all of the attributes of the ready student. She is one of the most respectful students I have ever had the pleasure of having in class and it started on day one during her interview. This kid has grit, it caps. Whatever or whoever gets in her way, all I can say is I pity the fool. I wish Annie only the best and congratulations on being a dedicated student and great person. Josh Parker. Cameron Sajir Lockhart. I hope I said that one correctly. He was nominated by Ms. Gregory, his academic teacher. Cameron is always respectful in the hallways and classroom. He has done a great job with his courses here at D. Russell Lee. I look forward to seeing Cameron continue to excel in the auto technology lab. Great start of the year, Cameron. Kamira Little.
She was named, nominated by Miss Vinegar, her academic teacher. Did I say Kamira right? Oh, yay! Um, Kamira is a perfect example of the student that can excel and overcome all obstacles. She has more responsibility than some adults and manages to keep her grades up and her attitude excellent. Kamira is always very respectful to everyone around her. She is a true delight to have in my class. Congratulations. Casey Coning. He was nominated by Ms. Braden, academic teacher. Casey is a very positive person. He can always turn a negative into a positive. He is very respectful to everyone around him. Casey is also dedicated to get the job done and he does it to the best of his ability. He is always striving to better himself. He is a good example of ready. Kyle Rittmeyer. He was nominated by Ms. Adkins, uh, his lab teacher, Akins, his lab teacher. Kyle is a joy to have in class. I love starting every morning with him. He always goes above and beyond in everything that he does. He has recently pushed himself to better his CAD skills. Can you tell us what that is, CAD? Autodesk. Autodesk skills, and is working on creating a lightsaber. Interesting. He, could, he is consistently putting in work outside of school to challenge himself. We are so lucky to have Kyle in the 10th grade academy. <laughs> Logan Ball. He was uh, nominated by Mr. Skinner. That's his lab teacher. While Logan displays positive qualities in all five of the characteristic of the characteristics of Reddy, respect and dedicated are the two strongest strengths that I see. He shows respect for himself, staff, and students on a consistent and daily basis. He is dedicated to learning his craft by staying on task, working well with others, asking questions to enhance his learning. With Logan continuing on this positive path, the sky's the limit for your future. Lydia Canalis, Canalis, Canalis. Mr. Sands is the one that nominated her. That's her academic teacher. Lydia is a tremendous asset to my biology class. She always puts forth effort to make sure her work is done and follows up with me when she needs to make up assignments. My favorite thing about Lydia is her positive attitude. Lydia often pops in my room with friends just to say hi in the morning, and her positive energy is contagious. Congratulations. Good morning. Madison Collins. Maddie is an exceptional student in many ways. She is outgoing, helpful, kind, and goes above and beyond in the classroom. Maddie has been a great addition to the 10th grade academy. Maddie is a role model for the rest of her class. I appreciate her willingness to help other students on, with her projects whenever they need help getting it done. Maddie is going places in life. This was by Mrs. Bland in the sophomore academy. So congratulations. Malaya Gardner. Malaya Gardner. We'll go with Malia, absolutely. Tenth grade academy. Okay. All right. Mason Rice. Mason is being recognized by Mrs. Al Gore, Sophomore Academy. The word respectful immediately comes to mind when I think of Mason. He is thoughtful and kind to everyone he meets. 
and has a welcoming demeanor about him that makes his peers feel safe and accepted. He works hard both in school and outside of school at his job. Congratulations, Mason. Melissa Casas, Melissa, <laughs> being recognized by Mrs. Regal. So Melissa is an ideal student and an amazing young woman. She demonstrates each of the ready characteristics daily in her positive attitude and commitment to being the best version of herself. I feel privileged to be part of her journey, and I know that she has a very bright future ahead of her. Congratulations. Michael Freeland. Michael was nominated by Mrs. Maynard. Michael is hands down one of the most respectful students that I have had the pleasure of teaching. This year, Michael has done a fantastic job at being accountable for his learning and his assignments. He is completing all of his assignments on time and asking clarifying questions. Michael is working hard at preparing for his future work in IT. I can't wait to see what great things Michael will accomplish. Congratulations, Michael. Michelle Zamudo Cruz. Michelle. Michelle is being recognized by Mr. Snotty, social studies teacher. Michelle has been an outstanding student from the first day of school. She is kind, polite, and considerate no matter the setting. She also knows dedication to her classwork and continues to be a positive influence in the classroom. She exhibits all characteristics of a mature young adult with a bright future. Congratulations. So Nathan McSwain is being nominated by Mr. Hensley. Nathan. Preston Barnes. Preston's being nominated by Mr. Packer, instructor. Preston always shows up with a smile on his face, ready to help in any way that I ask. He has the same attitude with his fellow students. Preston is always willing to help. He is professional, courteous, and respectful at all times, and has a strong passion for aviation. Thank you and congratulations, Preston. Quincy Hurley, Quincy. Riley Morris. Riley's being recognized by Mrs. Robertson, English teacher. Riley is a true leader in our advanced English 11 classroom. He is an English teacher's dream. He completely invests in the work, showing a level of engagement and emotional maturity that is very rare for a young man of his age. Riley sees the big picture, not just the assignment at hand. He is always reaching for opportunities to connect the learning and discussions to his world. He leads classroom discussions, help to lead the class in any new directions. He truly gets that, he truly gets that what we are doing in here isn't just worksheet and grades. He shares his talents with our classroom and his sharp director's mind lends itself perfectly to the study of literature and real world connections. I am so grateful that I have got the chance to see Riley in action this year. Congratulations. I think you could tell that was an English teacher who wrote it. Robert Martin, Rob, Rob's being recognized by Mrs. Schlaubach. Rob has been very respectful and came through with every request that I have made of him while we prepare for his IEP. He is hard on himself and he doesn't give up and doesn't give himself enough credit. 
He is a very good student. Congratulations, Rob. Tanya Meyer, keep up the good work and congratulations. <laughs> Zabdi Sanchez Munchen is being recognized by Mrs. Frankie. It's another English teacher, so bear with me. <laughs> Zabdi is one of a kind. He is so caring and compassionate for people and those around him. He works tirelessly to put his best foot forward and pushes to present his work at its best. Without fail, Zabdi is always prepared for class and ready to learn. He is a role model for the students around him. His dedication to his work and to learn as much as possible is without a doubt a quality that his peers look up to. He is authentically himself 100% of the time and doesn't, doesn't fall into the trap of peer pressure. He advocates for himself and others and has such a presence of joy about him. I am so thankful that I get to be his teacher in school this year. Congratulations. So as we wrap up uh, our presentation today, uh, when we talk about this idea of being ready, students, hopefully you've seen these in your classrooms. We have a post around the hallway. This whole concept, the acronym of, of ready, being respectful, excellent, accountable, dedicated in yourself. Uh, as Mrs. Claywell uh, alluded to, we have just under a thousand students here on this side of the campus. And today we recognize only 45 of you because you guys stood out amongst the best here for first quarter. So if we could have one last round of applause for all of our students today. Last but not least, thank you to parents and family members who took the time out of your busy schedules to come in today. We know how hard it is sometimes to, to get off work. Uh, some of the students, some of your parents may not have been able to do that today, but we greatly uh, appreciate you guys making us a priority and joining us on our journey. So congratulations to everyone. Have a great rest of your day.